Legal. and welcome back to another video of Retro Vlogs. Now in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing some boxes. Check it out, so I got, yeah, don't mind the mess by the way. Um, just don't. Anyway, here we have two boxes. Two boxes came from FedEx, I ordered them. Um, I ordered them quite, quite a bit ago. The uh, reason why it took so long to make this video is because, well, I made the box trick video and then I made last video first then like I got these things first and then I made those two videos and then school got in the way and all that stuff. You already, you already know the deal. It's it, the deal. It's the same crap over and over again, but that's just how it is. My bad guys. Anyway, but I'm bringing a video right now. So great. Um, sadly, I already uh, unboxed these. Well, I already unboxed this one. This is in fact my uh, motorcycle helmet. So I already have quite a good bit experience with this thing i already put my own sticker on it you know you know the deal so this is re really an authentic review on it like i mean it's not really an authentic first person review on it but it is still an unboxing and review or whatever for you guys what's really cool is this this box right here i have not opened this is the this is just sticking this is like yeah this is some fucking cheap ass whatever duct tape that is put on it but whatever that is the real thing, right? and I believe that is the seat. Yes, what I was mentioning two videos ago was the seat. So Absolutely yeah, seat. Seat. and if you did see, I had a flag pull, a little flag thing connected. I'm gonna have to reassemble all that again on the new one, but I'll show you guys how I did that. Anyway, without any more said, I'm gonna set you guys on a tripod. We're gonna unbox these boxes. We're gonna get the seat and the flag pull back on the bike with the new seat and new new setup. Um. I'll show you guys how the helmet works and I'll show you guys uh, the exact link of it and uh, that way if you want to get your own you can go get yours and I'll tell you my honest opinions on it so without further ado let's get right to it all right we'll check it out guys um got you guys on a tripod so let's get to the first box let's start with the box that I already have open which is the helmet so this one um the fragile box so basically let's see here when you get yours, yours will come in a box like this, fragile, whatever, and you'll literally just have the helmet right here. The helmet will just the helmet will literally just be right here, and it'll come in this nice, like you ever you ever had those bags, like those bags that have strings, like the string bags where you can like just pull on it and just close the bag. That's essentially what this is. It's essentially what this is, and it's pretty neat because you can carry it on the go and you can do odd stuff. So all you gotta do is just stretch this out and you pull your helmet out and then boom, you got your helmet. So my opinion on this is this is really sick and the fact that it came with it was pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure, it's my first ever helmet so comment down below if you know any other helmets come with this when you buy them. I'm not sure so this is my first helmet and it came with it. So. Props to that. If it's a normal thing, stupid me. I'm sorry, but yeah, props to that. I like that a lot. Um, let's see here. Down to the actual helmet. Uh, let's see here. Well, here we go. We got the helmet. It's hell. I don't even know what the hell this helmet is, but I'm gonna put it right up here. Editing retro, do it right now. I'll put that right here. I C W L T. I don't know. All I know is on eBay, it was talk, talk, it was talking about some DOT inspector and whatever WLT. That's all it is. It says it even says in here on the back, DOT WLT. But pretty much it. Anyway, down to the Astro helmet, its features and whatever. As you can see, this thing has a lot of ventilation. So you got ventilation up here. You got ventilation over here on top. You got here on the chin over here. This. And they all adjustable, like you can all close it. Wait, wait. Yeah, there you go. You can all close it and then open it back up if you want. Not to mention, 
the amount of stuff it can do. So this thing is pretty sick because you got your normal, you know, visor that goes up and boom, you got your visor that goes up and whatever. But you also got right here, this little thing, there's a button under here in the chin area, right here. What I'm pressing right now. This button, you press this and you pull all the way up and then the whole chin area just flips back up. And you got this whole like open space, basically. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if this camera saw it, but yeah. All that is open, basically. Um, if you're wondering, I am a skinny person, so I got the smallest size they had, which was M, aka 57 centimeters all around through, I'm um, pretty sure, 57 through 58 centimeters all around. This was what this fits. Um, let me just let me just shut up and put it on, so that way you guys tell me in the comments, what do you think of it? So, let's just move this buckle stuff outside. And here it is on my head. Here we go. I feel like in a couple years, this could become a meme on my channel. Noise cancellation, it's another thing. Noise cancellation, if you love the way your motorcycle sounds and like you just wanna hear it all the time, don't get this because this kinda cancels out a bit Actually, it's kind of like harder to hear myself right now just being in this open face mode because it blocks out everything all the way back here around. With the chin down, with the chin down, this is what it looks like with the chin down on a person my, like me for the smallest size. This is a small size helmet that they got, right? The M. So again, I'll put a link right here on the eBay one that I got. This helmet cost me 55 bucks. Now you must be thinking, damn, Retro, that's pretty cheap. And yeah, yes sir, it is pretty cheap. Um, I was surprised that I actually got a whole helmet and not half of it for 55 bucks. I was actually pretty surprised, but uh, this is what you get. Basically you get a pretty solid, it's, I mean, it's pretty solid to me. It's pretty solid. Again, for me, it's a little weird because I never used one. I obviously feel a lot more comfortable now than I first got it. It's not really made for what I do, which is motorized bikes and whatever. Maybe if I was on an art or if I was on a, a Ducati, it'd make more sense. Don't know what I mean? But not what I'm doing right now. I just wear it because, well, you can, never be, you can never be too safe, especially down here in Florida. Florida traffic is like, it's horrible. Me, me and my friend uh, were laughing because we, I, uh, he said we, we watched that Batman, oh no, Justice League the other day. This is completely off topic, but you'll see why I'm saying this. So Batman just pulls up in there with Batmobile and screws everything up. And I mentioned, damn, he's like every teenager in their, in their brand new 370, no 350Zs when they first get their permit. Like traffic is pretty fucked. So you can never be too safe with one of these things on. I already fell with, I already fell with this thing and there's a little scratch over here. And I didn't really feel a thing at all. Like my head obviously shook, but I didn't really feel a thing. It was, it was pretty, it was pretty secure, but it's pretty nice. I feel very secure in here, you know what I mean? Even though it wiggles a little bit, you're supposed to wear a mask. Not much people do, but you're supposed to wear a mask when you wear these helmets. I do wear a mask. In this particular case, I'm not. But when I do wear a mask, I do feel a lot more snug in here. But with that being said, um, this is what the helmet is. This is what it looks like. And just like that, boom. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be planning on filling this whole helmet up with uh stickers and whatever, I already got this nine here and uh, my Vans, I just got some new shoes today. Oh, not today, the other day. And uh, yeah, but overall opinion on this WLT $55 helmet, it's pretty sick, it's pretty sick helmet. For what it is, for the price, it's a pretty sick helmet. Not gonna lie. Oh, and I forgot there's one more feature. If you guys are still here and then skip to the next part. Um, this, uh, there's a little button right here and this, cringy as hell if anybody if, if any of you guys have played rainbow six siege or know what a fighter jet helmet looks like look at this look look at this these little glass vi visor things come down and they look absolutely retarded to me it looks like you're about to go take flight like they look retarded in my opinion so don't they're for the sun but don't wear it don't don't put it on I, in my opinion they look retarded so I don't ever put them on. It just looks retarded. 
anyway um but yeah that's my review on a wlt dot inspected whatever the hell you want to call it 55 dollars i'll just let's just call it the 55 dollar helmet on ebay so that's my um review on it but with that bye, bye. Man, it's pretty sick anyway now to the next one i'm not trying to make this this video too long now for the next one which is the actual important one in my opinion let's go um i want to see how this uh how this came in because this is in fact not brand new that was brand new this was brand new but this one i'm about to open up is not brand new all right and that should Okay, well, that's the only thing holding it. Nice. Oh, my. Wait until, wait until you guys see this. You guys can't see this, but wait until... I'll give you a sneak, a sneak peek. A few moments later. Check it out. Here we have the seat. And uh, so far, way better. It's mint condition compared to mine. The, this, this seat post was all just straight rust for mine. So already in mint condition. But let's try and get without f***ing up the seat. Retro, let's try and uh, I don't think I even need this knife. I can just, oh yeah. Oh my. Check it out guys, look, look at how mint the seat is. Oh my god, I don't even think this the lighting is doing it justice. Look at this. Guys, look at that. Oh my god. It's almost, it's literally, it's just a little tiny bit. But it's almost rust free. Look at it, it's just a little bit of rust under here. But that won't be a problem for me. Perfect, dude. Only a little problem with this, two little problems. Excuse me. Right here, if you guys cannot see. Um, right here, there's a little tiny bit of, a, just a little hole right there. And there's a little discoloration right there. But that is the only thing that's wrong with this seat. Everything else is perfectly fine. Now that we unboxed our two things, let's go put this on the bike. I'll put it on, put the flagpole on it, and I'll show you guys how I did that. Stay tuned. All right, check it out, guys. Okay, we are outside now, and uh, yeah, now you guys can see in the light how good this thing looks. And as to comparison, I already got Sting right out here, the two-stroke. Check it out. Look at the old one. We're gonna install this thing onto there and I'm gonna put this flagpole onto this one. I'll show you guys how I did that. Put you guys on a time lapse of me taking all this stuff apart. All right, so as you can see, took it off. This looks very weird without a seat. It looks like, it almost looks like, like a hard tail chopper. If like the seat was just a straight, seat like a s straight seat right here it looked like a hard toe chopper and i could maybe one day in the future make it a hard like it already is a hard toe but i could make it like look like an actual hard toe chopper by just putting like that that little like little just little bench i don't even know what's called it's like a seat that just had little two little str springs in the back that hold that just give it a little bit of um suspension that's pretty much it and just like a seat post going down into the bike itself like a, like real bikes 
could do that i'm not sure i'll probably do that one day in the future but as for now i already got this bike this a new uh, seat so i'm not even gonna turn it down just because i have a new idea on my head but that's what it looks like it looks pretty sick like this i'm not gonna lie i'll take a picture like this and keep it but uh yeah but check it out so here we have the old one old one if you didn't see from time lapse already the old one is fucking busted it's, it's pretty screwed it's uh i wrecked this bike once and well the bike the the seat was was what was what suffered the most and uh yeah you can see all the rust up under there yeah no good on contrary to this one where it's almost rust free and it's brand spanking new on the left around top and it's just a lot nicer of a seat so we're gonna slap this on there right and then uh we're gonna switch that flagpole onto there to here to there so I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that cool all right back again so here we go seat is on here seat is pretty nice the only my only complaint so far is since that one since that one over there was bent um that one's bent in a way so it would slouch a lot more back so since it was slouch a lot more back it'd be a lot more down and flush into like the body style of the bike it still looks good but since it's so new of a seat it's not like it's not i don't know it's too new so it's not like used like my old one was bent back in a way as you can see the metal on this one is flush with the lever and on contrary to this one where it's a lot more bent it's a lot more gap there so you can lose fit a finger there so that's the problem with that and that's why it makes it seem a lot higher on the bike but i have a fix for that i'm gonna be changing out this tank because my gas cap already broke so either i'll be changing it out or i can just move it like just give it a few threads like lower and i'll move the tank forward so that way i can lower it all the way down so that's my plan with it so yeah anyway i'm gonna put you guys back on another time lapse of me taking off the flagpole and connecting to this one so stay tuned for that i'll catch you guys when i'm off the time lapse Okay, so if you guys ever wanted to make this, I pulled this metal piece. Let me just connect this charger real quick. I'm gonna show you guys how I made this. So basically, I went in Dollar General and got me a flag, right? A normal, this is like a normal flag, but it wasn't as long. So I just went and measured this length of this metal and cut it to the point where it's not perfect, but it's like around where the white part would end. So I just cut that with a saw. I cut it, I actually cut it with one of these. Where is it? I actually cut that with one of these, these old style uh, hand saws. So, yeah. And then, boom. We got ourselves a flag and this. And this metal part, this came off of my boat. If you haven't seen a boat in the boat in the background of the videos, I'll make a video about that if you guys want. Comment down below. I don't think you guys want a video on that, but it has a Chevy, an old carbureted Chevy V8 in it. Small black. I don't know. It's pretty dang cool. Anyway, uh, only if you guys want. But anyway, look uh so yeah so basically then what i did was since this since this is wood there's these little holes on the side so i just got some like some screws from home depot like some wooden like the the screws i could just go straight into wood and just drilled it in there and boom this is done your stick or your pole or flag pole whatever the hell you want to call it is done oh yeah and make sure you make it straight so say this is the tube connect it here clamp it there make sure your flag is straight like somewhat straight so that way it fl like flies backwards when you're riding because you look hella dumb if it's flying the other way around and it's just wrapping around your tube you know what I mean that, that would look dumb anyway so that's how I made this how I made everything else would be very ghetto and very strange but wait a second it's what I had at the time so check it out I got a piece of rubber from a rubber tube like you know those, those bicycle tubes I guess got a piece of that cut it made this thin 
and I would take it around the two, uh, my, around the middle and I would just wrap it. Like for example, my thumb is the tube, right? Take it and I just wrap it around. Crap, well I can't do it now. Wrap it around like that, you see? Bear with me, okay, I'm retarded. There you go. And then I'll just wrap it around again like that. And I'll wrap it around again like that. Then after that, I would clamp that down with this metal piece and wrap it around like that. So that way it would stay in place. Once I was done with that, I got this plastic part, put it over that. So essentially metal piece inside the plastic part and put all of that abomination inside of this. Grab the screw and nut, bam, did it. I'm gonna get a close up on the, on the time lapse, that way you guys see it, but it was that simple. All I needed was some rubber tube, some plastic round bit, some metal, and a screw, and a nut, and a flagpole that you can buy for like a dollar, and some metal tube with a clamp on the end. Anybody can do this, and this is not the only way. You can make millions, there's millions of ways to do this. I just so happen to have these parts. Anyway, with that out of the way, it's my GoPro guy. Gotcha, I'm bitch. And check it out guys. Look at it. Check it out. We got our flag back on the bike. So again, like I told you guys, you get your rubber, you stretch it around, around, and around the tube. Boom, you get your metal piece, you clamp it down with that metal piece, right? Hold it there, you get the plastic piece, boop. And then I got my uh, pole, wrapped it around that, stuck the screw in it first, and then slowly, and again be patient i said this one in one of my older videos be patient with nuts and bolts and whatever because if you lose it you basically cost yourself the whole project for no reason it's all it is is waiting and i know i go against that sometimes by doing shit really fast and just destroying it um <clears throat> this bike almost got destroyed because of that so just be careful okay there's one thing i learned about working on stuff in general be patient i don't have to be patient with this gas tank i told you guys i'm gonna move it above a little bit just move it a little bit more that way the proportions look a little bit better and once i do that this should have enough room to go all the way down to the bottom to where this metal piece hits this light not hits it but it like, gets close enough to it so that way i get that that like nice real low riding feeling and look that i used to have with the older seat but i'll put that for sale i doubt anyone any of you uh are gonna want it because it's not really for good use it's in pretty bad condition i'm gonna sell it for like 10 bucks on ebay or whatever but if you guys so happen whatever hit me up on instagram right here and uh we could work something out uh but i again i doubt any of you but hey maybe i'm wrong if you got if, if any of you guys want it for 10 bucks hit me up anyway um a few moments later that's what you call a hood challenger yeah guys that's the video there goes the helmet just look at that helmet that helmet looks sick it's full of fingerprints but that helmet looks awesome in my opinion i don't know if the camera does it justice but that that helmet looks sick as hell <clears throat> excuse me anyway again you want the seat 10 bucks um but here we got the new seat on here again i'm putting my uh fuel tank a lot closer up so that way it doesn't mess with my seat and I don't get all of this just soaking of fuel because this this oh you can even see it right now see look it's dripping fuel right now so that sucks but tell me what you guys think about flag yeah that's the video guys I, as you can see I got quite a bit of stuff to pick up and move back to its place but that's the video guys um, hope you guys enjoyed it I'll catch you guys on our next one all right.